Hello there watchy people, how is it going? Welcome back to another stream. Uh, yeah, had a bit of spare time today so I thought it would be fun. We uh, checked out this uh, this game. Uh, it's called Backbone, it's like a detective-y type thing. Um, very noir, which is something that I'm into. If you don't know what noir means then... Um, Go find out, because it's cool. Um, yeah. Detective style stuff, so let's get the sound engaged. There we go. It's a nice, soft, kind of piano jazz in the background. That's what noir's all about. <laughs> <coughs> so yeah, um, we're going to check this out today. Uh, it claims to be about an hour long, so it's not going to be a massively long stream. Um, I'm also hoping to do some woodwork today. I'm waiting for some stuff to arrive in the post. Uh, I ordered a, a router and uh, some bits for it. The routers arrived, but the bits haven't, so I'm going to have to wait for that. Anyway, let's uh, hop over to the game screen and uh, crack on with the game. I know no nothing about this other than the fact that it's... Uh, like an animated noir thing, um, so yeah, let's let's check it out, see what it's about. Oh, I like that, that cigarette loading thing. Oh, and it's pixel art, very much pixel art. I'll answer the phone, raccoon. Sorry, missed your call. Yeah, no problem. 27 on the buzzer. Okay. Just enough time to clean up. I need to do a voice, don't I? Right, use L to move around, A to interact with objects. Cool, okay. Case files. Insurance frauds, lost cars, estranged lovers. Should probably get some of these old case files. Get rid of some of these old case files. If I'm going to do the voice, I better read the right words. Okay. Let's inspect the desk. L to drag and drop items. Some items you picked up by pressing A. X to pick up. Okay. We'll pick that up. Can't pick up that. Dangly feet. I like the uh, dangly feet bar. That seems to be everything on the desk. We can't touch anything else. What's through here? Can't go through here at the moment. What about this table? Oh, living room. Okay. <clears throat> Media set. This damn thing stopped working a long time ago. Gotta hit Frankie up next time I'm in Fustdale. When I have cash, so never. Notes on a fridge. Call mom. Buy soup. Pay bills. Don't die. This this raccoon is one very cool customer, I think. Uh, photo chemicals. Oh, nice. We've got our own lab. Leaving developers in the kitchen is a sure road to poisoning. Or a great soup. Oh, I love the sense of humour already. Hard to get tired of this view. I'm sorry, we're putting the dishes in the bathroom sink. Oh, there isn't a kitchen sink. Okay. I'll wash these later. Probably not. The toilet. Okay, we can go through to the toilet. Toilet books. We have toilet books. Great Apes, The Great Satori, Swell Toilet Reading. That's it, that's everything that's in there. Elliot Graham said it best, enlightening account on the last beacon of civilization and its masterful architects. Essential. Is there more? Among many great stories, the great story stands out. Is the gripping yet edifying tale of our tenacious leaders and their crusade to usher in an era of prosperity for the city and its citizens. 
Okay, that's all. Not going to give us any more. Right, so we seem to have cleaned up. Apes, I could use a quick smoke outside. Go on through to the office. Alright, anything else to clean up? Oh! Place chemicals. Everything knows its proper place. <laughs> that must be Mrs. Green. There's a knock on the door then. I hope you guys can hear the game alright. Let me know if you can't. Uh... Oh, here we go. Excuse me, I'm looking for Detective Luther. We spoke on the phone. Uh... At your service, Mrs. Green. Oh, um, truth be told, my back's killing me. Pregnancy's put real pressure on the spine. And please, Odette is fine. Your first kid? Third, actually. Wow, so I'm guessing you didn't come to ask about a babysitter. I understand this sort of thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. I'm listening. Just hasn't been himself lately, getting home at odd hours, making weird excuses. You try to talk to him about it? Yes, but he gets difficult, like it's my fault. I just need to know if you can get proof of his infidelity. I need it for the court. Court? Are you filing for a divorce? That's right, and above all, I need something damning enough that custody won't even be a question. Your husband will want the kids. I can't take any chances anymore. Oh, these divorce cases are messy. He shouldn't get involved in them. It's probably pretty much his entire line of work though, isn't it? <laughs> When did you realize he might be unfaithful? He was always a private kind of man. Now he started getting home late, missing work and smelling funny. What kind of smell? Like perfume and not mine. Alcohol, smoke and something poignant. Like a, a kind of herbal stink. How late are we talking? Way past the kidders didn't dinner time. The kidders? Kids dinner time. I asked what he was doing, it didn't go well. Hold up, has he been aggressive? I can't see how this is permanent, Mr. Luther. But it, personal details can make or break a case. I have to know how he thinks. He has a mean temper, unpredictable, that's all you need to know. Let's talk final details, I'll need a picture. And information about his routine. Sure, what do you need to know? What does he look like? Here's a photo. He's an altar, of course, a little stockier than you. He wears glasses, square ones, and his wedding band, as far as I know. Oh, and he carries a black briefcase to and from work. Uh, where does he work? At the Wolf Bank on Granville. I'll write the address down for you. What's his full name? Jeremy Green. I think people at work call him Jez. Okay. How would I pick him out of a crowd? He wears a suit to work. I picked out his green tie and hat for him today. You met any of his friends? No, but he mentioned a few guys. Says they get together after work sometimes. Where would I find him? Usually, I mean. Usually at work or at home. He never used to stop anywhere. Now it's all the time. That should be enough. It's just a matter of my fee. I can give you a hundred now and fifty when you're done. Will that suffice? Yes, plus any unexpected expenses. It's not my, just my life writing this. I can only afford one shot. What assurance can you give me that you're the right guy for the job? <coughs> <laughs> it's a matter of trust, Odette. Do you trust me? That seems like the... Uh... The L.A. Noir kind of line, wouldn't it? I mean, the sensible one would be, I care about my clients, your problems are my problems, but no. Th this one seems more in keeping with the character. It's a matter of trust. 
No, but I have no choice. My life is on the line. I'll get right on it. Call you later tonight. Goodbye, Odette. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. Still getting over my cough. Right, she's gone. Okay. Uh, what was the... I missed the prompt there. Press... Okay, access the detective menu. Right, my office. Notes to self. Reminder to calm mom. Not difficult to remember, just difficult to stop by procrastinating. Media set is bricked again. Frankie could probably fix it, but I have to take it all the way to Fustdale. Okay. Uh, client Odette Green wants proof of her husband's affair. Get a divorce and win custody of their children. Right, so we've got to uh, get photographic evidence of Jez Green. Um, cheating, basically. Cool, right, find him. Let's go then. To Granville. Granville's a character in uh, an old sitcom called Open All Hours in the UK. Oh man, look at this place! Granville. Smells like wet concrete. Overpriced fast food and puke. My kind of battle cry. There's a squirrel here. Yo, old man! How's it going, fella? Just hanging? What's up with you? I'm tracking someone for a case. Okay, now we're talking. What the guy do? Murder? Arson? He's just missing. Man, that's a letdown. Who's the jump? I'm afraid that falls on the client. Confidentiality. Ooh, well tell me later then. Take a look at this photo. You seen this guy around? Nah, man. Even if I had, why would I tell you? Well, see ya. Well, he was a fat lot of use. Vermin and Sons. Vermin, one slick silver tongue's devil of a mountain lion. When I go crazy and kill someone, I hope I can afford him. Nice. Posters. The day I bought a bike, the life of a young, handsome ape turns to shambles when he crosses paths with a dangerous man. He does it on his bike. Amazing. Sounds great. Who's this guy? Hey, if it isn't Mr. Howie, what's a rascal like you up to this fine evening? Hey, Natalie, I'm looking for someone. You got a minute? Oh no, let's ask it. Let's let's just get on uh, good terms first. They're both doing just fine. Essie and I, are good, great. We even got a second lad to do soon. Oh, I got a great story for you. Another wow, you guys are lucky. Thanks, he's a big one too. As he is round as a watermelon, right? So I tell her, ha, huh, woman, you get any bigger and I won't fit you in the trunk of the car. Huh, huh funny. And so, ha, huh, she turns to me with the eyes of a killer and says, give me the bread, honey. <laughs> oh boy, women, man. Listen to Natalie. Women, mysterious creatures, they love bread. So we break the news to our boy Victor, son, you're gonna have a bro soon. And he's like, oh no, bro, what is it? What's it mean, Anali? I don't know what, I'm, I'm losing track of this dialogue. So I tell him, mama and papa worked hard. So the apes let us have another baby, baby boy, just like you. That's a rare chance for sure. Sure is, little Victor poor soul starts laughing. Oh, daddy, we're gonna be so happy, me and baby bro, we're gonna play all the time. And I say, sure son, but here's the catch. There's a catch. You and mama are gonna have to look after him, because two babies mean zero daddies, because daddy has to work four shifts instead of two. <laughs> I got a missing person on me. His wife's pregnant too. Oh, the poor lass. Well, spit it out, man. What's he look like? Is he from around here? Here's a picture. Seen him recently by any chance? Yeah, I seen him. Barrel ass kind of guy. Smell really bad. Took him back from the bite a couple of times. 
you ever talk? Anything seems strange? Nah, he was too wasted to talk most of the time. He smelled it enough talking for both of us. And yeah, he smelled of what exactly? Uh, you know, poopy kind of smell. Stale booze and perfume. Herbs. Awful, awful stuff. Any idea where he'd be now? I guess the bite is as good as any. It's a gooby place, though, eh? Thanks, Sally. Your detective's best friend. My regards to Estrella. Take care, my man. Bye. <coughs> oh. Oh, and what's this? Vogue. Uh, what's Vogue? They did great job restoring the Vogue. People watch more movies. Maybe the world wouldn't be so sad. That's a uh, good observation there. What's this? Another poster. Ian Simmons is the rising jazz star. See her tonight, only at the bite. Neat. I should check this out once I'm done with the case. Maybe. Uh, what's that? That's the bank. Is this where Green works? So that's the banker. Yeah. You folks work at the Wolf Bank, right? Yeah, why? Is Jez around? And who are you? Oh, so you know him. Asshole owes me money. I'm looking for him everywhere. Well, say hi to Derek here, because you two are probably not going to see your money again. Hi, Derek. When's the last time you saw him? Today, but the wind pass left early. He's scared... Derek's gonna split his wig, huh? Something happened at work? Heard his contract's not getting renewed. Bastard had it coming. You got a girlfriend or something? If you reckon harlots are a sort, a sort of girlfriends, then sure. Could be with one of them for all I know. You boys spend time with them outside work? Yeah, we used to have a blast at the bite every Thursday. Till he turned into a needy leech. The bite. Could he be there now? How the fuck would I know? Now let's get out of the rack. I'll do just that. Okay. Okay, here's the bite. Everything's pretty close together here. Hmm. Might not quite fit in with this fancy crowd. Thankfully, I'm a charming boy. Bouncer. No entrance for raccoons. Goodbye. Mm-hmm. My friend Carlos is waiting inside. Go ask him. Yeah, of course. Now get lost or I'll bash your head in. Alright, jeez. Okay, so we're gonna have to go down the alley, aren't we? Hold RT to run. Hey. Uh, Luscious Barbers. Shoot, that's Downey right there in the police booth. He'll eat my brains out if he sees me. What police booth? Oh, there. X to enter crouch mode, X to stand up again, okay. <laughs> this is brilliant. Quico Mart. Old honor is still tending to the shop. I should say hi before he gets driven out by Yumi Mart. Maybe next time. What else we got? Mc Mackenzie and Sons. Rich people clothes. One sock is more expensive than my whole outfit. And Foxy Burger. Once I got punched by a guy in a fedora and then puked up all over my nude coat. Uh, the memories this place brings. Uh, so garbage bit. We, we are a raccoon after all. Let's see, sacks, takeaway boxes, six. Ah, uh -huh. take it to the bank. Thanks, trash bin. Nice. Who's Bo? He's a newspaper guy. Good day to your friend. Fancy some fresh news? Sure, shoot. For a half loon, you can read them all with your own eyeballs. Alright, there you go. What's the headline today? Front page today's Great Eight Parade preparations underway. Celebration starts Friday. How's business anyway? 
Well, you tell me, people want their damn news for free and damn hawkers don't help any. What has bothered you so much? Well, hawkers don't worry about bills or allowance, you see, so they can afford to sell cheap, undercut honest businessmen like myself, criminals. Hawkers? You know, peddlers, they haul their rickety improvised stands around and collect all the profits with nary a permit. Police booth is right there. I tried reporting them before. By the time an officer gets here, the hawkers are smoke. Fast, tiny legs. Gotcha. I better go then. I bet my tail that damn rodent with, all, with the seeds will be arriving any minute now. Uh, oh, cheer up, Bo. At least you have one loyal customer. Well, how about you buy something then? I got nibbles, fizzy drinks. Actually, I just remembered. I gotta run. I'll come by later, though. Loyal customer in my ass. Get out of here. Well, excuse me. Bye, Bo. Is that the, uh, that's the end. Cool, right. Run back and duck. Don't get seen by the gaps. Right, let's check out this alleyway. Although we don't really need to now because I've got a ticket. Let's go in anyway. Larry. Intercar. Hmm. That's, that's not a door we can use. Let's talk to Larry. Howard, well I'll be damned. Is that you? Larry? It's me. It's been too long. What's going on, old man? Who you calling old, you old rascal? <laughs> Alright, that's fair. Plus, these rags don't likely help my appearance anyway. You okay? Not really. Thank you, though. Now, what's your deal? You seen an other guy around here recently? What did he do? Nothing serious. Just messed up his marriage. Hey, like they do. What's he like? <laughs> About my height? Uh, here's a photo. I haven't seen him, sorry. Let me know if you need anything. I'm here often and hear people talk. <laughs> I gotta leave, but the bouncer won't let me into the bite. Tough break. It's really more of a cat and dog crowd in there. You said you guys not? That's weird. Where can I get a good disguise? Maybe if I was a handsome cat. Oh, Howard, you may be able to pass as a cat, but even then you'd be ugly. In all seriousness, I need in. What you could do is ask Johnny. He know better than me. Who's Johnny? Squirrel kid with the leather jacket. He's a pusher. I don't entirely know what his deal with the bite is, but they're chummy. What sort of stuff does Johnny push? You're typical, like height and shatter fang. Oh, get this. He started rolling out something called Monkey Butt. Who comes up with these names? It's like they just don't want you to do drugs. <laughs> All right, that should be enough to get me another bite. Thanks, man. You got it, Howard. Welcome, Distraction. Really? See you soon? Sure, Larry. Thank you. I'll see ya. So... Oh, is that... That's... No, that's not the pressure. Okay. We got a ticket now, anyway. Uh, is the banker? Where is this guy? Oh, it's him. Are you Johnny? <laughs> Who's asking? I'm Howard Loader. Pleased to meet you, Johnny. Right? Fitting name for a grown-ass dude in a trench coat. What do you need? I need to get into the bite. I'll bet you do, pal, but why should I care? Heard they sell monkey butt through you. The fuck? Where'd you get that stupid idea, Striper? <laughs> A friend. 
But you need better friends. I don't have shit. Uh, but you know where to get it. Look me up at the bouncer. I bet it looks good on you. Hank doesn't let any old jump in for good reason. Say I make you sympathetic. What does Johnny get in return? Okay, fine, I'm a detective. My mark's in the bite. P.I. isn't a bad guy to have your own favor. You shitting me? Prove it, punk. Look at me. I'm a raccoon in a trench coat. You'd think I'd ask you if I wasn't serious? Now scram. Yeah, so all I see is a filthy trash mobster who drinks alone, cries over his dirty magazines every night. Probably lives with his mama too. And the trench coat is just the final pit pitiful cherry on top of a crab cake. Weird hair in that room scrolling with so much fur. It really sticks to the wall, don't you think? Shut your mouth through I'll stuff your trash tail in it. You know you're right, I am a loser, but I need your help. Ugh. You're pathetic. Would you get lost? Fuck the face is scaring me. Yeah, yeah, I really do. Help me, Johnny. You were gross and weird. I'll get you in, but you got to leave me alone, okay? Beautiful. <laughs> right, so we had to be pathetic to get in, basically. Johnny's gone, so I'm guessing he's back at the club. Uh, right trigger, there we go. So, we'll talk to the bouncer, what are you waiting for? What do you want? Here's Johnny. Hey, Johnny, another client for us to entertain, eh? Striper, you can come in, but don't cause any trouble. Thanks. Cool, right, we got ourselves in. So apparently we don't fit into this place. Jazz, alcohol, beautiful canine ladies. All a little too high end for my taste. Rene. Colby. Audrey. Ingrid. <coughs> Clarissa. We need to talk to the bar. You always talk to the barkeep. Come on. And another bouncer. What's through that door? <coughs> oh, we got some actual lyrics here. I'm gonna turn the volume up for you guys. You need to be hearing this. Like it. Right, who are we gonna talk to then? Let's have a chat with uh, Colby. Hey there, you here for Eden Simmons' show too? I'm so happy to see a life finally. I haven't heard of her before. Has a nice sound though. Well, I'm probably a bit biased, but yeah, she's great. Does she play here often? From time to time, I like the place. It's very classy and the food is great. And they have good taste in music. Ah, well, you can only be sure if you stay for the whole show. <laughs> I wish I could. Say, have you seen an other gentleman tonight? Here's his photo. Let me think. I think I saw someone like that walk in. Did you see where he went? I saw him come in and talk to the Afghan lady in the jade colored dress. Thanks. Enjoy the show. Well, she was very helpful. Um, jade, what color is jade? Is that jade? 
Or is that jade? I don't know what colour jade is, but I'm a man. I don't know these things. Or rather, I'm a, a man who doesn't like colours. Or like, I don't know. I got myself in a hole there. I didn't mean to do that. Um, which one's jade? What colour is jade, guys? Let's talk to Audrey. Isn't this too dreamy? Oh, you sure are. God, I love this music. You wanna dance with me? Hmm? Sorry, no. Can you at least answer a couple of questions for me? Not really. Leave me alone, okay? Sorry to bother you. Alright, oh, she was helpful. So I'll talk to Ingrid. Well, hello there, honey. Well, hello. I did his voice for her. Well, hello there, honey. To I owe oh, the pleasure. I'm just looking for a friend. Sweetheart, I got plenty of friends already. Huh, I mean someone I know. Not seen anyone with that kind of high red tonight, hun. Then I guess he's late. Or maybe he's the vein type and took the glasses off. Is he a regular? What's his kind? He's an otter. An otter I'd have noticed. We tend to attract more of a canine and feline crowd. So a full citizen would stand out, but they're still welcome. Of course, provided they pay their way. Same goes to you, honey. Hmm, strange. Jess claimed he was bona fide regular here. I'm only concerned for him, you know. Look, Shaker, maybe he was trying to impress you. I'm telling you, I haven't seen him tonight. Do you work here? I'm a hostess of sorts, but I don't work for the bar. How oh, very coy of you. Can a girl have her secrets? I'll tell you this. Only our regulars get to find out more. My theory is you're here to bewitch the new clientele. Me, oh my, you've deduced the full extent of my talents. Oh, I'm sure there's more to you than meets the eye. I'll be back soon. Alright, so this one must be the jade dress then. You look a, you look a little last. Is it that obvious? It is to me. You, however, seem to be right at home. I practically am. Wouldn't you say so, boy? First name terms of the bartender, too, eh? Allow me to formally introduce myself. I'm Clarissa Bloodworth. I own the bite. Well, allow me to say you got a very cozy place here. Thanks. I do strive to offer a sophisticated experience here. So to whom do I owe the pleasure? Name's Wallace. The pleasure is mine, Wallace, and what's your profession? I'm a photographer, private stuff mostly. I created so. Impressive. So how can I help, darling? Well, you're the expert. Do you have any special recommendations? I'll say that our chef's dish is at a dive for. Otherwise, just relax and enjoy the show. Eden's voice is something else. What you about you here in the first place? Uh, I'm just here to meet a friend. Is that so? More of a regular than you? Sure is. Always talking the place up. That's his name. If he's here tonight, I'll know. Uh, Jeremy, last name Green. And you were just meeting him for a quiet drink? Yeah, we got a lot of catching up to do. Darling, I think you're lying to me. That's your prerogative, I guess. Mr. Wallace, if that really is your name, playing coy clearly doesn't suit you. It's certainly not appropriate in my establishment. I suggest you take your business elsewhere. I'd rather stay. Oh, I must insist, or should I ask Hank to insist instead? He can be oh so persuasive when he's angry. No need. I'm blowing this joint. Thank you. Perhaps me and the real you will see each other again sometime. Don't count on it. 
Okay, so we got kicked out. That wasn't good. We failed, guys. This is like L.A. Noir all over again. Clarissa Bloodworth, she's hiding something. Green is there, I just need to find another way in. Alright, let's go down the back alley again, because there was a, a back door. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought it was saying I could talk to him now. Uh, who are you? You weren't there before. Lawrence, Starling Cider. What you looking in? You are right. Fine, what's it to you anyway? You don't look fine, I'm just trying to help. Then I'm fine, get lost. Lawrence, right? Put it on a tag. I'm not leaving here till I get it back. Get who back? Are you looking for someone? Yeah, right. Make it like you don't know. Not fooling me. No, sir, I'm out of you. I'm not moving to this spot till you let me talk to my daughter. Are you looking for your daughter? I'm no fool. I know she's in there, but she doesn't want to talk to me. No, that's not. They won't let me see her. Is she a bite? I'll keep an eye out for her if I manage to get in. You're not one of them thugs? No, oh, ma'am. Private Detective Harold Lola. Nice mini. Detective? I don't understand. Maybe we can help each other out. Ow! I need to find a way into that building. Can you help me? Maybe. I mean, not really. I tried to cool the door, but damn, filthy slugs won't let me in. I just want to talk to her. Wait, what code? I memorized it. Great fire, damn me. I looked at the wrong schedule. Let me in. My daughter's in that filthy. They won't let me talk to her. I want to let you talk to her. Say she doesn't want to talk to me, but they're lying. I know it. I just want to keep it all hushed up like. What's she doing in there? The kid decides she's going to make it all on her own. Lands herself in a whorehouse. Stupid. Oh, they're drugging her. I know it. They won't let us see her own mother. My poor baby. I'll keep an eye out for her if I get in. What does she look like? Prefer name's Rosie. No, name's Rose. Drives her nuts when I call her Rosie. She just turned 20, see? Didn't want to be a kid anymore. Oh, if they heard a single whisker on my baby's face, I swear I'm going to burn this ditch to the ground. How are you so sure she's still in there? He's my baby. I know where she is. I can sense it. When did you last see her? Two, three weeks ago, we had a fight. But she's been visiting the bike before. Told me she was waitressing. Liar. I asked around. This ditch is a filthy drug den for whores. Fucking liar. So you fought about her job at the bite that was the last time you saw her? What about it? Nothing. I'll do my best to find her. Thank you. Tell her I'm waiting out here. They haven't told her, I'm sure. You know of another way in? No, I've heard voices up on the roof. But how'd you get there? Alright, thanks for helping me out. Better go look for a way in then. Please, if you see my daughter, just tell her I need to see her. Please, take care. Okay then, let's try the intercom. No answer. Fine. You are disgusting, little rat. Right, is there anything more down here? Ah, there's a truck. Can we go in? Delivery truck, the door is open. Let's break in. Two is filled with cover boxes, it smells like rust. It's a weird looking recording device on a dashboard. The compartment seems to be unlocked. Voice recording device, hardware and truck dashboard preset for surveillance. Ready to print out some recordings, you enter correct dates. Okay. Open the compartment, find a couple of newspapers and documents where invoices are checked. Look at the invoices. Sterling Cider. Bites. Most recent purposes be happening today. September and October. Don't look like anyone was reading through them. Epidemic continues. Vicious wall attack leaves three defenders wounded, one dead. Here's the compartment. Alright, let's leave. Alright, can we go anywhere else? No, we can't go there. Intercom still has no answer. How's Larry doing? 
How'd it go? Did you find him? I got kicked out. <coughs> How'd you manage that? Doesn't matter. So they used the back door for deliveries, right? I think I booked the bear. Bouncer? I met Clarissa Buzzworth. Oh man, what'd you do? She's upset. You better get used to watching your back. I need to find another way in. Now hold up. You said you didn't get into cases like this anymore. Uh... Larry, what if it's the case? Something's wrong and I need to find out. Jeez, I'd recommend against it, but you do you. So, any other ways in? All right, all right. The truck over there just arrived, and some fellows entered through the back door. I also heard voices coming from the roof, so they must have a door up there. Tell me about the door on the rooftop. Most of these old buildings have one. Problem is, how are you going to get on the roof? Is there a fire escape? Give me a lift. Nah, no fire escape, and the bite's too high. Are there any smaller structures you could climb first? Press down. Oh, there, that could work. Start with the press stand, go to McKenzie, and proceed along the roofs. But you should know, that bow is kind of, um, thick nugget. That's the most description of bow I heard in my life. You're welcome. Anyway, I'd suggest talking to him and see if, uh, he'd be up for it. Tell me about the back door. They have a little earned crown box. You ring, they pick up, you're someone they're expecting, they buzz you in. How can I be someone they're expecting? No idea. Maybe they use some sort of code. You're the detective, not me. Thanks for your help, friend. Goodbye. We can try the intercom again, but there was no answer before. Which means we basically have to uh, go to the other end. Let's do it. Right, can I climb up? Ah, oh, man. Back so soon, what now? Hey, Bo, I was hoping you could help me out. I don't know, I'm quite busy. You alright? You sound irritated. Sorry, it's just been a slow day to begin with, and now that hawking, road stealing what little clientele is trickling in. Wait, who's stealing your clients? That Pika with the card. <clears throat> really gets on your nerves, huh? Look at it from my point of view. I have a register for seller's permit, pay allowance, walk a thin line between making profit and setting prices people actually buy at. Yeah. Well, here comes a woman who doesn't have to worry about allowance, rent or utilities, and who cuts my prices by a ridiculous amount, ends up stealing my business. So sure he's evading allowance though. There's no way someone who allows properly can make a profit at those prices. Uh, too bad. Anyway, I'll gather your parts and get back to work. I'm pressed down real quick. Absolutely not. <laughs> what if I could offer something in return? Mm -hmm. Now that you mention it, maybe you could help out with the little issue I've been having. I'm almost free to ask what do you have in mind. I need that bigger hawk or the one with the seeds off ground. Well, can you do that? I'll go talk to him at least. Alright. So where is he then? I don't know who Ah, oh, it's this one, is it? Sid. Hey Sid. Alien package. I've got sweet and savory. You can mix and match. Make your own trail mix. How about it? Listen, I have a strange favor to ask. Uh, okay. You got places on the ground where you set up shop, right? Sure. One of the advantages is sitting on wheels. I move around. I need you to roll on somewhere else. Wait, what? Listen, do you have a seller's permit? What do you want to know? You're not a cop. Just saying, allowance evasion is a pretty serious crime. Why are you doing this? I'm just trying to make a living. 
Yeah, not hurting anyone. Sorry, kid. But I'm trying to make a living too. As bows hide, muscle. That's none of your business. Now move on. Whatever, man. I hope you fall off a flight of stairs or something. Well, he's gone. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> well, what happened? I've forgotten what voice he was now. <laughs> Let's get him out. He agreed to stay off ground before. Agreed? He was most likely lying. You're useless. So you're gonna go back on the deal? Here I had you picked for an honest time. I don't know back up, go back on my word, but I'll know better than to humor you next time. Right. So now we need to climb the press stand. Climb. Right, make our way across the rooftops now and then. I'm the king of the world, take it, Foxy Burger. Love this music, it's so cool. Whoa, that's a view. Wish I could just stay here. Only pigeons could accept me as one of their own. You'd better be there. Right. I do like that loading bell. It's great. Teapot. Parsley brew. Also known as any baby potion. Yep. But it's definitely a brothel. Darling, could you take a minute to clean Rose? Okay, there's nothing else there. More Margot more. Okay, so this is Rose's desk. mirror table. A note. Some honey for your tea. Mum swears by it. Greg. Press X to crouch. Enemies can't hear you when you crouch. Don't see any behind dark objects. Green must be in one of these rooms. I have to be careful not to get caught. supposed to get past him. Okay. Well, don't get caught next time. Ah, oh, man. <clears throat> Oh, come on. Right. How am I going to get through here then?
This is tough. Okay, there we go. We got three. Go on, keep going. Well done. Go in the private room. Jin, I missed him. Just been here. I can smell the monkey, but maybe there's something behind that could help Odette. Check out the painting. Green ties stuck behind the frame. What if I budget? Green's green hat. Uh, what the? The secret lift? Green went in there. Wonder what's on the other side. Can I take anything else? Herbs. That must be monkey butt. To be honest, I imagine something nastier than herbs, but boy, it stinks. Might as well take a shot, get in there and press a button, find the guy. Maybe something more exciting. The club's definitely hiding something. Cool. Right, this is an incinerator. Open door. Cork board. Greg, if you're gonna swipe stuff for the girls, you need to make a note or you mess up the inventory. Intercom. Probably shouldn't. Oh, is that the back door? Closed. The hatch is wide open. Come on. Hmm. Took honey. I don't know what else to do. So this is back in that room. There's nothing in here to grab. The lift and the door. So all I've got is the intercom. Oh. <laughs> uh, packaging. large pizza of pineapple on top. Wait, don't go anywhere. I think somebody's coming. Somebody coming? Ah! Okay. So that was the kitchen. Dial bar. Boy speaking. Hey boy. Greg, are you stuck in the freezer again? Yes. For ape's sake, go to the kitchen. Someone will get you. It's Greg, I'm stuck in the freezer again. How do I know what's uh, what's going on? Ugh. Difficult. Right. Oh! Okay, I just needed to duck. That's all it was. Ah, so that'll get him out. Right, got ya. Intercom, here we go. Right, dog kitchen. It's Greg, stuck in the freezer again. Hold on, I'm coming. Right. Whoa. Nice mixer. Get him out of the way. Nice. Got through that one. Inspect locker. Ape's delight. 
What's going on here? Got a five of diamonds. That's a code. Okay. Square, circle, diamond, triangle. Square, circle, diamond, triangle. Okay. Anything else on here? Square, circle, diamond, triangle. Right. Great. Keep Janky downstairs by your station. Need to turn key. Code lock. Square, circle, diamond, triangle. That's that's none of those things. Okay. Circle, diamond, triangle. Where? So there is a diamond here. I don't know. It's tricky. Hmm. Oh, six, four, one. Is there anything else? Any other numbers here? Try six four one. Oh six four one, maybe. <laughs> There's no notes over there. One six four one. I don't know. It's eighteen there. Queen five. There's there's lots of numbers. Five eighteen, maybe three five and eight. Uh, one eight three five. Um, five one eight three. What was the so it's six four one? So it could be five six four one, three six four one. Come on, close. Five six oh, four one. Come on. Three six four one. Six four one three six four one five Okay. Oh I can't go anywhere now. Well let me back through that door. That's not good.
So I have to figure this out now. Hmm. Intriguing. Right, okay. Um, so, is something a square? I'm looking for like shapes in this now. Oh, so the circle is 641 maybe? We've got ten diamond. There's diamond in the M there. Diamond, I think, is five. That would make sense. So, is there something square? Man, this is... I might have to look this up, guys. My logic makes some kind of sense. I feel like it should be to do with this. But there's no diamond. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, it's to do with this, isn't it? Here we go, four. Man, look at that. Diamond is five. So where is the triangle? Oh, this one goes on here. Right, there we go, so square. So this one's the square, which is zero, four, five, one. Zero four five one. My goodness. Zero four five one. Man, that hurt my brain. What are we looking at here? Got a crouch. Is more. <laughs> I thought there's going to be nothing in there then. Lights. Ah. There's a body. Green's dead. Fuck. What are you getting yourself into? going on here Wait right here no I'm still working on a cut uh okay coming Okay Take the key turn key maybe I'll make it out alive Sorry Jess even you didn't deserve this. Nobody does. Packages. Come on, let me look at the packages.
Right. the door. Ah, there we go. Anything else going on here? Can't go back through there again. Where's the lift going to get me though? Escape. Right. Hey! How's it going, Jake? Thanks for dropping by. Playing Hypixel, huh? Don't listen too hard, my accents are terrible. feeling this might be the end actually. <laughs> yeah, backbone, there it is. That was the prologue. Oh man. Developed by Ignat. Down, 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 down. Thank you for playing Backbone Demo Prologues. Content's gonna be evolving till the full game release. Well, there you go. That was um, interesting. I really like the style of that. Good fun. Much good fun. Oh, man. Ah, well, just jump to another game. Yeah, that's probably a good call. It's a good call. Um, I don't know what other games i got on at the moment. Let's leave that running. I'll head over to Steam. So, yeah, what else have I got to play? It's been a while since I played Watch Dogs 2, you know. Could do some of that. Uh, a bit of Fallen Out, maybe. I finished Hitman. You know what? I'm looking at new stuff. And there's this thing called Meeple Station, which I... I got a code for ages ago and uh, I should have checked out so maybe we'll do that yeah let's do that let's switch over to a meeple station uh, so let's edit the stream info first look we'll go for meeple station how you doing anyway uh, Jake, what are you up to on Hypixel? Which which uh, mode are you doing? Meeple Station. Done. Right. Stream info has been updated, so let's uh, hop over. Right. Well, yeah. Anyway, that was cool. That was uh, backbone. That was good fun. Um. I would quite like to play the full game, I think, when it eventually comes out. <sighs> Let's, uh... Oop. What happened there? There we go. Right, we'll quit over that. You're doing well, just going through the daily freebies and play Skyblock. Ah, cool. And I've not played Minecraft in so, so long. Uh, it's been a very, very long time. Uh, right, so... Let's uh let's fire up Meeple Station then. Seems we're doing new things, it'd be it'd be good. Uh play. And then we'll switch over our game capture to that. Meeple station. Aha. Uh -huh. 
do, 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 do. Station Alpha. Right, although I was supposed to be going. Oh man. You know what? Actually, I am going to have to take a break, I think. Uh, because I need to go to a shop to get some supplies. I need a lift because the supplies won't fit in my car. I need a bigger car. Uh, so unfortunately, I am gonna probably have to stop the stream there. I will come back and uh, we'll play me for station a bit later on. Um, but thank you very much for watching. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you uh, sometime shortly. Bye.